Hello and welcome back to Stoneface Picks. Aerogel is a solid, rigid, and dry material that does not resemble a gel in its physical properties. Press softly on an aerogel and it won't leave a mark. Pressing harder will shatter the spar structure. Aerogels have a unique set of characteristics that make them attractive in science and technology. These include the ability to be used for thermal insulators, piezoelectrics, catalysis, energy storage and generation, biomedical implants and devices, coatings and sensors. Meaning, aerogel is a lightweight material with an extremely low density. It is a synthetic porous ultralight material derived from gels, in which the liquid component of the gel has been replaced with a gas. When a gel is exposed to supercritical drying, the liquid part of the gel becomes a gas within its nanopores without the structure collapsing. The result is a highly porous and ultra lightweight lattice that contains 99.8% air making it an ideal insulator. The lightweight material is a major breakthrough for many scientific areas. It's used in insulation, filtration, and remediation techniques. NASA has used aerogels to catch comet particles on the Stardust mission, as well as to insulate Mars exploration rovers from its cold temperatures. Characteristics Aerogel is a semi-transparent solid that is composed of up to 99% air. It is nicknamed frozen smoke or solid smoke. The material's unique physical properties make it a perfect candidate for insulating space. It can reduce the amount of energy used in equipment by absorbing thermal radiation and insulating against heat transfer. It also protects operating and insulated components from corrosion by its water repellent capabilities which prevents damage. In the 1930s, a U.S. chemist named Samuel Kistler created a substance that was structurally a gel, but without its liquid component, the new material he called aerogel. Its uses Aerogel is a crystalline solid-state material woven of interconnected three-dimensional solid networks filled with air-filled pores. This remarkable processing scheme produces materials with exceptionally great porosites, low density, notable dielectric strengths, good specific surface extents, and low thermal conductivities. These unique characteristics of aerogels are responsible for a plethora of technological applications. They are a great thermal and acoustic insulator, possess high fire retardant properties, and are lightweight. Why is it used in space? Aerogel is a unique material. It's the lightest solid on Earth. It can support 500 to 4,000 times its own weight, and it is very strong and incredibly flexible. With a density of only 0.16 mg per cubic centimeter, it can be held by a singular flower. It's also 10 times stronger than steel. It's also one of the best insulators you'll ever see, which is why NASA uses it in space. They have used it on several space missions, including the Mars Pathfinder mission, which used aerogel to protect Sojourner, the rover, from freezing when trekking across the red planet. It's also used in the Stardust mission, which is currently preparing to haul samples of interstellar dust from Comet Wild 2 back to Earth in 2006. The aerogel will slowly slow these tiny particles as they hit it. When they do, they will burrow into the material and gradually come to a stop without damaging them or changing their shape. Why is it called a blue cloud or frozen smoke? Aerogel is a type of solid material that consists of 99% air. It is often referred to as the blue cloud or frozen smoke. It's made by cycling a wet aerogel through multiple phases of cooling and heating under pressure, which maintains the silica network shape even after it's completely dried out. The result is a material that is almost entirely air, making it the world's lightest solid. Price of aerogel. At about $23,000 per pound, aerogel is currently more expensive than gold. It was invented in the 1930s by Stanford University chemist Samuel Kistler. He used a method called supercritical drying to remove the liquid component of a gel without compromising its volume. The process makes the gel a semi-liquid and gas in its nanopores, which prevents it from collapsing it into a solid. It's also very efficient as an insulator and can be used in many applications. That's it for today. Hope you liked our content. If you do, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time.